YouTube, YouTube, and to you all, welcome. My name is Red, and I live here in Canada, uh, in the mountains, a national park. So I'm quite nervous because I'm not used to uh, reviewing fragrances um, through social media. But uh, please bear with me, and I hope you will like and subscribe. And I hope uh, you will find my uh, reviews a little bit just quite helpful. All right, so this uh, cologne will be coming from Latafa. I love Middle Eastern fragrances, and I do believe like uh, that uh, Latafa has up the up their uh, game when it comes to uh, perfumes. So, but what I'm gonna share my what what thoughts i would share right now is not the current releases of latafa it's going to be one of those released in 2014 so you you guys all know about uh, ragba right and you guys all know about 24 gold by sense story and just to give a little bit of background based on my experience ragba is uh, there's some similarities between ragba and 24 gold although for me personally, ragba is unisex, but it leans more on the feminine side. But the smell is outstanding. While 24 Gold leans more on the masculine side, as it as it is more prominent with being animalic, aside from its aromatic features, and it, it is kind of like a bold masculine smell. But basically, on the smell journey, they kind of like meet, it, meet each other over the dry down. So, Radba and 24 Golds and Story both are sexy, stunning, highly complimenting fragrances that doesn't need to be oversprayed. That is my opinion. Okay, especially like for me, living in a national park, people here are much more familiar with the smell of cigarettes and cannabis and forest so they are not much um, open with the smell of uh, perfumes okay so now ragba it's massively hype along with 24 gold and now by 2014 probably a year or two after Ragba was released I'm not sure about it but I think Ragba was first released and here comes Ragba Wood Intense I don't know what's the meaning of this icon and what's the meaning of Ragba but the box really looks very Middle Eastern and very beautiful actually so that's the front information at the bottom here we go information at the bottom latafa trademark symbol and the sides so very nice okay and the bottle like this okay guys to be honest with you i'm late in the game for this one because it has been hyped after rugba but i have never tried this at all only now so this is a blind buy now um, what would I say about this and Ragba you can really smell the DNA of Ragba on this one once again they're both unisex but Ragba wood intense for me is much refined um, a bit amp up on spiciness and a bit toned down in the burnt sugar and kind of like caramel so it is also warm like ragba not for summer definitely not for summer especially if the high heat this will reek out same with ragba now ragba the dna of ragba is right here okay ragba is bold and potent this is lesser bold and lesser potent but this is already kind of like a, this already has a very good performance projection longevity on my skin this one is like eight plus hours on my dress 
couple of days or so even in the laundry when I put my shirt with Ragbo with intense I can still smell it in the lump uh, over the laundry uh, basket okay so this has the same components as Ragba in my to my nose except that this is much more refined this is spicier and this sets aside the rubbery feel compared to Ragba which I can sense I can smell like there's a little bit of rubber smelling on Ragba and more rubber on the classic Amir Al Oud and I never like Amir Al Oud now I have no idea what Amir Al Oud intense smells like they say it's similar to by the fireplace now I used to have a decant of by the fireplace and to be honest with you guys I don't smell by the fireplace on Ragba Wood Intense not at all so you know like the smell is subjective like what you perceive that this has the uh, by the fire by the fireplace smell or accord maybe different from me maybe different from someone else so it's all about subjective skin chemistry now you will be surprised with what I'm gonna say Ragba wood intense on my skin I noticed that this over the dry down this somewhat has a soft similarity not exact but this this kind of like a soft similarity with one isiminaki one that was used to be a mega hype and hard to find and now it's uh, readily available in the market I think so so this is Ise Miyaki's Ambre Noir. Okay, so to, to shorten up, to cut it short, for those who don't own this one, okay, because let's say it's very expensive now, say if it's a hundred Canadian or even more, and you can't find it anywhere on a decent price, to my nose, the dry down of this has a little bit of similarity with Ragba Wood Intense or let's put it the other way around and Ragba Wood Intense for me is kind of like when Ragba dominates and um, becomes a hybrid with Ambre Noir then that's going to be Ragba Wood Intense so I told, I'm telling you guys, that's that's the way I perceive it, the way I smell it. I may be wrong, I'm sorry. But, um, well, we respect our own thoughts and our own interpretation of smells. So, Ragba Wood Intense, great for winter, great for fall, great for temperatures on um, 10 degrees going down to minus, great for dates, not for work great for outdoors on colder season now if summer nights are quite cold on a lesser spray you can wear this one very very complimenting as I've said the projection is above average the longevity is above average and if years ago the reviews were like oh it has been like reformulated it doesn't last a long time anymore at that time i, I don't think i don't have this at that time like three years ago four years ago but now i will tell you on my own smell experience this lasts a long time not more than 12 hours but it hits the eight hour mark okay so i would recommend this rubber wood intense now, which one is better, Ragba or Ragba Wood Intense? For male, Ragba Wood Intense. For female, maybe Ragba. But if I have to choose one, Ragba Wood Intense. So I hope it's clear. I hope you have underst you understood my English because it's not my first language. So guys, please like and subscribe once again and support my channel so I can be inspired to upload more. And welcome me to the club of the frag game in uh, YouTube reviews. So I have been personally uh, been a uh, perfect.
perfume collector for the past for more than 20 years this is just now the time that i decided that maybe i should give all my uh, i should give it a shot since i have like about i think i have like about 300 plus uh, bottles i used to have like 500 plus but um, I sold them to some of my town folks here in the mountain. So once again, guys, please like and subscribe and click on the bell icon so you would know when I upload the new video. Thank you very much. Um, happy holidays because it's December. Peace and God bless. This is your uh, scent buddy, Red.